The basic living function, again, is really about water, electromagnetic field, and oxygen into water for a specific electric excitation. Does that sound familiar to you now? What am I talking about? All this element is inside energy. So now, let's go in energy. How that link to life? Now you see, life is very interesting. Human is the last living being come on Earth. You see, the evolution, you know, develop really billion years. And you see, what is changing in this development? At the beginning, there was no oxygen. So all these beings like human animal, we can't because we require oxygen. But also we cannot live, we have you too much oxygen. Like you see at this point, you have in the atmosphere, you have like 38% oxygen. So what things living there? Dinosaur. Even the bug is bigger than human at that time. Completely different living environment. So human come on Earth really come to around this time frame when the oxygen level go down below 25%. So, if you look at oxygen, all chronic pain, suffering, and diseases are caused by lack of oxygen at the cell level. This is a medical textbook. And you look at life, all the diseases we're talking about today is associated with no oxygen or hypoxia at a tissue level. So, excuse me, this is a different language. <laughs> See, oxygen breathing, again, talking about it, really important. Why? Imagine a person 20 years old. If you go up altitude, you go up to 3,000 meters above the sea level, lack of oxygen, lack of air pressure, you become like 47 years old. And if you go to 8,000 meters, you'll be like someone like 89 years old. This is how your body linked to not just oxygen, energy, electric. So diseases, you see, main reason is oxygen and sunlight. So normal being today, we're living in an environment around 21% oxygen in the air already losing. But in big cities and the closed environment, you have even lower. And you know, the safe limit for us is actually 18.4%. And today in a lot of environment, actually you don't have that much of oxygen. So you're already below that range. So not only oxygen content, but also another factor. We're living in an environment today we all know pollution. It's a global problem. It's not just a country here, there. It's a global problem. What happens if you have a pollution? It goes into your brain. You see, this is a healthy brain. It looks perfect. And this is the brain exposed to the pollution, air pollution. So this is your lung, 